You're a strange one, sir. It must be something special to convince you to return. Although, if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me at the dock, I might return too. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, be careful. Goodbye, sir. Long time no see, Mario. I'm totally glad I got to see you again. This is awesome. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. So, are you ready to go? Wherever you want to go, we are so there with you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, to the bonus episode with me, the Doctor. Yes, you get this nice little introduction that you only get when you load up the game after you've completed it. You get this little kind of, oh, you're back, Mario, which is, which is a nice little touch. So, what's this episode about? This first one is about cleaning up various things that need to be done. There's some post-game content, and there's also some missed content. First things first, we open with Star. I should just check what Charlton's selling, if he's selling something that we need. Oh, he is! He's selling the Timing Tutor, which I'm going to buy. This is a badge which costs 1 BP, and it lets you see the timing command to basically... Uh, try that again. Let you know when you need to press A to do stylish commands in battle, which is really cool. And it's a badge we've been missing for quite some time. Oh, so that's really cool. But the first thing we're going to do is star pieces. If you look to the right, you'll see we have 99 star pieces. I intended to gather all 100 as we went along, and believed I had done so until I found that I was editing and I'd only done 99. That then led to a very long trawl through all of the footage to check which one I had missed. That was fun. That took a couple of hours, um, which I'm never going to get back. But hey... Um, the advantage of all of that is I found, not only did I find where it was, but it's also in a really easy and quite handy location. Because, it's just here. Final star piece in the game, and it's right next to the fucker who takes star pieces from us, which is really handy. So, we can drought trade our final 15 for a pal plus P, which we already have, but you know, completion. And then he says, his star piece collection is complete. Do you want to trade badges? Oh, but I'm all out of badges. I'm sorry, guy. What a shithead. But yeah, so that's all the star pieces, finally. Next, on a similar note, is badges. We're still missing a couple. Um, and I'm going to kind of go through them. I'm going to get one or two, and then I'm going to go through the rest, because I'll explain why in a second. For now, we need to head to Far Outpost. Now, this is... Quite an obvious one. Well, not obvious, but I mean, I meant to get this at the time and apparently just didn't. Boink! Wait, what? Boink! There we go. Double dip P. That's actually a new badge. It allows your ally to use two items in one turn. We've got the double dip, but now we have the double dip P, which we hadn't got before, which is quite handy. Now, the rest, we need to. I need to show off in two locations. One which we've seen and one which we've kind of seen. Let's head back to Rogueport and to the inn. Now, what we need specifically isn't in the inn. <laughs> in the inn. But on the way is Luigi, who we have one final conversation with. I've been catching a breather here, you know, reflecting back on all my adventures. It's been a long road, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. So he's got one final one, which is the Super Luigi book. Actually, you know what? This guy actually novelized my quest. He's been interviewing me. He was actually interviewing me here at the end during my breaks for my adventures. I didn't think anyone would be, less in would be interested in reading a book about Luigi. But Super Luigi came out recently, and check this out, bro. Here in Rogueports, it set a new record for consecutive weeks at number one on the bestseller list. Oh ho 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 ho! Hooray for Luigi, bro! Bro, even. I think I said blow there. I started reading it the other day, but it's an encyclopedic account in multiple volumes. Excruciating detail, bro. It's like a history book. It seemed like one, anyway. They've got it out in the shop here in Rogueport. How about you snag a copy, bro? So. I will be doing just that shortly, but we needed to come up here anyway, because this is the way to access the lovely House of Badgers. Which contains something. I was not aware of. So, there's a number of badges which are available for purchase here. I'm not going to buy them because there's no point in me spending ages grinding coins to buy all these badges when I can just talk about them a bit easier. Maybe that's cheating when it comes to 100%ing. I don't know, but we're in a bonus episode anyway, so yeah. Simplifier. Make action commands easy, but earn less star power. So it's more forgiving on when you have to press A, but you get less star power. Super Appeal P. These are all ones we haven't got before. Oh no, we've got Super Appeal P. FP Drain, we haven't got, which drops Mario's attack power by one, but regain one FP per attack. Power Rush, we haven't got the Power Rush or the Power Rush P. Uh, these increase attack power when you're in danger, so five health or less. And Sleepy Stop, we've already got. So, the really interesting thing is, what I didn't discover is, so these ones are on offer. They sell for cheap. Everything else that the house sells can be bought from this guy on the list. I thought it just cycled what's there, but no, it cycles what's on offer, but everything can be purchased from this list. 
So, I'll go through and talk about the ones that we haven't got so far. So, the Piercing Blow is a hammer attack which uh, pierces enemy defense, so regardless of their defense, we'll do the same amount of damage. That's a pretty handy one. I don't use hammer that much, it's not particularly useful, but hey. Last Stand? I've got Last Stand P, but not Last Stand. I think there's one in the Glitz bit somewhere that I missed, but it means that when you're in danger, you receive half damage. Combines quite well with Power Rush, which increases attack, so basically just makes you really strong when you're in um, danger. Then, Pretty Lucky P. I've got the Pretty Lucky myself, but this is the same but for your partner. Sometimes causes attacks to go doot -do 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 and miss. Super Appeal, I've got Super Appeal P, but not Super Appeal, which would get more star power when you appeal. Simple enough. And if the Simplifier makes action commands easier, but earn less star power, then the Unsimplifier makes action commands harder, but earn more star power. Neither of those are particularly useful, I think, because I think the balance that the game currently strikes of having the, the, the difficulty of action commands versus the amount of star power you gain, I think is a pretty decent balance. Finally, if we come into the shop, we will find the Super Luigi book, book one. If you buy it, then when you next reload Rogue Port and come back, the second um, chapter should be available, I think. Or do you have to chase them around in different shops? I can't remember. I'm not going to go through all of them, because there's a lot of them. If people want me to, absolutely, I will read them all out uh, in another bonus episode if people, if that's something people will be interested in. Uh, drop me a comment. Otherwise, I'll just do book one. Have you ever experienced a time when no matter how hard you tried, you failed, and the t time you spent felt wasted? If you ever feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale, the story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi, Volume 1. The quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know that he was about to receive a letter that would change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg of your help. The foul Chestnut King has stolen our treasure, our fair princess. The letter was from Minister Crep of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time in curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey. Knowing, though, that his older, less talented brother was no doubt on an inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to wick up a fruit parfait. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery, an endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crep who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land has a second treasure, the marvellous compass. Find its seven parts and find a Claire. So it began to be continued. So yeah, if people want me to read them all out, I will do it at a later date, but not unless people actually want it. So drop a comment if that's something you're interested in. Finally, two more badges to show off, which are in the Pianta Parlor. So both of these badges, because they're available only in the parlor, are money-based. Refund is quite nice. Uh, refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Quite a lot, actually. Refund 75% of the item's sale value. And refund badges stack. You can buy an unlimited amount here if you keep earning the pianos for them. And every additional one you add on gives an extra 5%. So if you're wearing six of them, then you'll just get the entire financial price of an item back. Or more if you're wearing more badges. I don't know why that would ever be particularly useful, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Similarly, there's the Money Money Badge, which makes more coins appear after battle. A lot more, but as you can see, it costs a hell of a lot of pianters, and I'm not going to sit here grinding for them. But you can also buy unlimited HP Plus and FP Pluses here, which kind of means, yeah, you can just massively level yourself up with them as long as you've still got badge points. So those are all of the badges in the game, which I've now either got or shown off to some extent. Wonderful. What have we got to do now? Two final- wow, three little things in this bonus episode. Troubles next. We've unlocked three troubles for beating the game, and they're weird, but let's go to the trouble center. So, our first trouble comes from one Doe T. Roust those cads. I really wanted to see the great tree, but there are many cads in the way. Would someone please roust these ne'er-do-wells? I am waiting in Boggly Woods near the great tree. This trouble makes no sense. I mean, it's a fine trouble, but I don't understand why it unlocks at the end of the game. It's, well, you'll see. Let's head to the great tree. So, upon arriving in Boggly Woods, we find Doty. Ha! Now, this is a problem. Hey, what's that you say? Ha ha! You could help me. Excellent, just marvellous. I was about to give up on the whole deal. I came to the woods just to see the great tree, but th the hugs up ahead scared me. Contending with goons is not part of my repertoire, so to sneak- speak, so to speak. <sighs> Contending with goons is not part of my repertoire, so to speak, so I've stalled here. Do you suppose you could give all the goons up ahead a proper thrashing for me? Well, I'll be waiting here until you do. Thanks in advance, chum. And yeah, you get this only after completing the game, and all you have to do is beat some really easy enemies to the point where I've put the first attack badge back on, and if I just jump- Oh, sorry, the issue is I've actually got to do it. If I jump on these guys, because they offer no star points, it just beats them automatically for me, um, which is ridiculous. And you only have to beat three of them, 
Oh, 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 oh shit. It's a bit more challenging than I thought, actually having to jump on the fucker. But this is the only challenge, like, these guys have like four HP each, and that's it. Trouble done. Done already, eh? Marvellous, I can finally see the great tree. I'm in your debt, sir. It isn't much, but I hope this will do for your troubles. It's my change from lunch. 20 coins, like, it just, it doesn't feel like realistic endgame content. I don't know why they put it there, it's a very old one. Anyway, there's, wow, two more troubles to do. We're only gonna do one this episode, because there's gonna be a second bonus episode, which I'll talk about at the end of this bonus episode. So let's head back to the trouble center. Now, Swab we're gonna save for next time, but Bub is the one we want to do for now. I got a fight with my mom, and I need you to help me make up with her. I'll be waiting near the sanctum in Poshley Heights. So, let's head over to Poshley Heights. So, Bub is just up here, and if we talk to him... I've been waiting for you, mister. See, I got a fight with my mom, and I want to make it up to her. So I wrote her a letter, and I want to give her a present. But I don't know what to get. I've narrowed it down to three things, so could you help me decide? Oh, shit! Oh! I'm an idiot. I was hammering, eh? And I selected a shroom cake. Did not want to go for a shroom cake. Wanted to go for a keel mango, because then you just hop out of this pipe, and then you just hop over to the right, and then you hop in there, and you've got a, you've got a shroom cake. Not a shroom cake, a keel mango right the fuck away, and you just take it straight back. It said... I went for a fucking shroom cake. How the fuck do you even make a shroom cake? Ugh, oh, I'm gonna have to look this all up now. Good lord. There we go, made a shroom cake. Turns out it's just a mushroom and cake mix. So I had to get cake mix from the parlor and a mushroom from a shop. <sighs> now we can return back to Bob. I'm telling you, Kill Mango is the way to go about this, unfortunately. I'm an idiot, so yeah, let's return. Did you bring a shroom cake for my mom? Yes, I did. Ugh. Yahoo, a shroom cake. Thanks, mister. I'll just attach this letter. And we're done. But I'm afraid to give it to her. She may still be mad. Can you give it to her and come back, please? Oh, people are terrible in this game. So here is Sylvia, Bob's mom. Why, hello, Gonzalez. Do you need something? From little Bob, you say? Why, there's a letter. Let me just read it. Dear lovely mama, I'm sorry I didn't do my homework. From now on, I'll do my homework and try to be a good bob -omb like Papa. And I will give you a good food and a nice house. And a pretty hat. So please don't hate me. From Bob. Oh, I'm just going to break down and cry here. Oh, how delightful. What a really weird way of spelling crying. Oh, Gonzalez, don't mind my tears, they are just joyful ones. I just want you to tell Bob something for me. Why can't these people talk to themselves? Tell him I'm not angry. I was just being stern because I love him and care about his future. I never meant to hurt his little feelings by it. And I'm sorry I lost sight of that. Gonzalez, please bring back my little Bob back to me now. I think the reason people are having all these issues of getting pissed off at nothing and not, and not meaning to hurt people's feelings is because no one's talking to anyone else. They're all relying on a strange moustache man in a purple jumpsuit as a go-between. And that's always going to cause weird... Family relationships. Anyway. Hey, mister, how was it? Did she like the present? She's not mad anymore? Woo! Yeah, it's all thanks to you, mister. You're the person I respect most. After my dad. And, as a reward, I'll give my entire fortune. Not that I have many coins, though. Good one. Brilliant. You solved the trouble! So, what do we now have left to do? Got two things- wow. One and a half things. Uh, one thing's kind of a reason to do the other thing. Um, so, we have currently gone through um, the troubles. Got all the troubles except one crossed off. We got most of the badges crossed off. Got all the star pieces crossed off. The final thing is the tattle log. Now, for the tattle log, we have got the vast majority of them as we went along. Um, we're still missing a fair few things, but most of them... See, this is now what next episode is going to be about. Because the final trouble, the final badges we need in the game, and the final few bits of the tattle log, except for a couple which I'm going to do now, are all in the same location. They're all in the pit of a hundred trials, which I haven't done yet. All the way to the bottom. So that's going to be what next episode is. It's going to be polishing all of that off in one thing. So what I want to do here is just get the final few tattle pieces that we haven't got so far. So, there's two that I've missed. And now I'm going to talk to you about what happens if you miss the chance to tattle an op opponent you can never tattle again, because I missed two of those. I missed Kami Cooper, because I couldn't be asked to switch out to Goombel in the middle of an intense boss fight. And I missed the mini X Yucks, well, mini Cross Yucks, uh, because I forgot to tattle it at the time, and you can't get back to, well, if you go back to the X Nor base, they're not there anymore. But this is what 
Professor Frankly's bin is for. Oh yes. You found a scrap of paper in the garbage can with info about Mini Cross Yux. It has been transferred to your title log. Equally, you found a scrap of paper in the garbage can with info about Cammy Cooper. It has been transferred to your title log. So, any, um, any enemy where you've missed the last chance to tattle it will turn up there. Don't worry, it's gone for good. But you have to have missed the last chance. So, for example, if you miss tattling Beldam the first time you fight the Shadow Sirens, it won't appear there because you fight them again. However, if you miss tattling Vivian the first time you fight the, tattles, the Shadow Sirens, it will appear in there because Vivian, you never get a chance to fight again. Um, because after the first one, then she joins you. So that's kind of cool. Um, so there are no one-time tattles, even though I've talked about one. T this is your only chance to tattle them. If you miss it, you get it in the bin, and it's just like you got it anyway. Now, we're missing one more that isn't anywhere in the... I think they actually might be in the Pit of 100 Trials. They might be, but I know one place you definitely get them. We are missing the Red Chomp. Red Chomps we fought last in the Glitz Pits. Because that was the fight for which um, Goombella ate the Nasty Cake. And I had to do that battle solo and didn't get the chance to tackle them. They're not in the bin because they're still accessible. Like I can say, I think they are in the Pit of 100 Trials. But they're also still in the Glitz Pits, ranked number 3, Chomp Country. And this is a good chance to redo the glitz bits. It's going to be very easy for me now because I'm quite highly leveled. You can do it actually any time after Chapter 3, but now seems as good a time as any to do it. So I will cut through most of it. I'll just show some interesting highlights, I suppose. Um, and we'll get those chomps and then be ready to armor up for the Pit of 100 Trials next episode. So, fights in the glitz pits proceed much like they did before. Except for now you get Jolene instead of Grubber. Who will give you a similar command, uh, except they're slightly different. Um, some there is, a, I think, they do draw from a different pool. So my will be against the Goomba Bros. And pay attention in this battle. I want you to avoid using any of your special moves. Don't get me wrong. I love the flashy stuff, but it just takes a little too long. Now get in there and don't go grandstanding. All right. So most of them are very similar ones. I will flag up if she does any that we've not seen before, with when it was Grubber in charge or when anything particularly amusing happens. Other than that, nineteen fights to do. Let's go. That was nice and straightforward. Yeah, I've kind of optimized my badge setup to be as quick as possible for hammering through enemies, so yeah. This is gonna be a nice straightforward one. But I suggest you try a little harder against the likes of us, huh? We've not had Bobbery in the pits before, so that's what he says. Oh, that's one thing as well here. Finally, you're referred to as the Superstar Sequel, the Great Gonzalez, rather than Merciless Executioner, was it, last time? Yeah. Either way, yep, yeah, on against the spiked pokey triplets or whatever they're called. Now, this is a condition we've not seen before. Win before taking 20 HP of damage. I mean, it should be relatively straightforward, but there we have it. I just realised there's one that might screw me if they say you have to take some damage first. That might actually screw me because my defence may be too high. I just completely eviscerated them. Good lord. Oh, we've nearly levelled up. That's cool. Motherfucker stole my electro pop. This is a really annoying one to have that. Um, don't do that. Don't attack in the first few turns, command, because then we just got a load of shit stolen from us. I got three coins and a shooting star nick from me, and they all just bugger off with them. I wonder if he runs off now, does that count as me winning? Hard to tell. Either way, I'm gonna kill the shit out of him, but. Oh, that was a little bit on the overkill. 19 and 1 hit. I kind of forget how powerful I am. Oh dear. And that is a level up for me. We've only been getting one star point for each of these fights, but you know, every little helps. We've been getting a lot of coins, which kind of add up. I'm going for hit points for now, because for the only thing I really need to do for now is the bit of 100 trials, and I'd rather have some hit points for that just to make sure, just to make sure that I last a little bit longer. Oh, I think that's us upgraded to the major leagues now as well. Now, here we are against the enemy I've been trying to get through the whole time. Ranked second in the Glitz Pits, Chomp Country. The red or fear orbs. Was it county or country? Didn't read it properly. I can't remember what my thing is here. I think I have to do it before taking 20 HP of damage or something like that, which should be fine. Let's see. Win before taking 20 HP of damage. That should be fine. So, first things first, we tackle these. Been waiting a long time to do this. Boink. That's a red chomp. It's a rabid, red, biting, chewing, chomping fool. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, defense is 3. Its attacks are so powerful we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Which is why it's really, really lame that its defense is so high. Its HP is pretty low though, so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. I think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party. Um, taking this out before taking 20 HP is actually not the easiest thing ever. Let's try and see if we can just get off a showstopper on it and just nip this in the bud, really. Alright, let's see what this does. Yes, got both of them. Brilliant. 
Wonderful. And that's Chop Country out the way. And that's her final title log entry that isn't in the Pit of Hundred of Trials completed. Now, for today's main event, after coming back to take the Major League's top rank, the Great Gonzales will finally challenge the champion, Rawcork. First, to make his entrance, we have the Feral Nuclear Reactor, Rawcork. Well, champ, tell us about your mindset. After all, today's challenger is the Great Gonzales, the only man to ever wrestle the belt away from you. Well, that's all ancient history. There's only one true champ, and that guy is Rockhawk. One of us is walking out of here with a belt, and the other one's getting rocked. But champ, Gonzal champ, Gonzalez showed no signs of rust in climbing back up the ranks. He shattered his own records, one after another. How does that strike you? Hey, shut your trap on this. Gonzalez won't be the only one feeling the rock. I'm the champ, in a story. I'm a legend, and this legend is about to rock that dude. Big words from the champ. And now, the challenger, who needs no introduction... The former champ returns, the Superstar sequel, The Great Gonzalez! Except he's purple now. Good gravy, such hubbub. These fans are rather rabid for a fight, I should say. Let's have it out. You might have noticed one of the guys on the right said, Go jump man! Wait, who? Jump man being Mario's original name in the first game he was ever in. Listen to the crowd give it up for the brave challenger, The Great Gonzalez. It's been a while since these two met, but who will emerge victorious this time? The battle is really ready to begin. Ring that bell! And now we fight Rogog, exactly the same as when we fought him back in the day. That's probably my only thing that annoys me. Ah, right here, Mario. Fisticuffs with the champion at last. I shan't disappoint you. Ha ha ha! Time for you to meet the new improved Rockhawk. Feel the horror of a world-class rocking! One of the things that does annoy me about the redoing of the Glitz Pits is it is exactly the same. As in, like, there's no differences. All the enemies you face are exactly the same. They say the same things. Slightly, Julian somewhat mixes it up by giving you slightly different um, challenges to Grubber occasionally, but really not that much. So it's just, it's, it's kind of a bit of a slog and it's, it feels very samey, which is a bit of a shame. But other than that, um, I guess it's kind of fun that you can do it again, but there's a reason why I didn't do it at the time. I just kind of wait to do an end game because there's there's no real good time to fit it in and yeah it's a lot of effort for not a huge reward anyway my thing i had to do was use a special move which i've done now and as you can see he's only got 40 hp we've actually got more hp than him and he's allegedly a boss like he bounced off my head there and did nothing i even missed the guard command oh let's do a spin jump in this could do a good amount of damage seven and ten seventeen he's actually nearly dead already well the nice thing about this is when once you're the champion, you can grind by just fighting Rawcork over and over again. It does yield a relatively decent amount of oh, star points and I think coins as well. We'll also have access to the champion's bed, which we can heal, heal our star power at any time, which is a really nice position to be in. Just to make sure we're all topped up for anything. The pit of 100 trials is all we've got left. Okay, three star points. Maybe that was a lie then. Maybe it's the coins you get off it. I was thinking about. No, I don't believe this. I Am I actually going to get rocked again? <coughs> Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, fists, and feathers of fury. What a beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could be only one winner, and this time it was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez. Once again, you are our champion. Congratulations, Gonzalez. I was a little worried that you were over the hill, but you made quite a comeback. You are a true champion. Ah, we got the champ's belt back. Now, I think I know what you're thinking. You plan to move on, don't you? Well, that's fine, of course. I'll keep you registered in case you ever wish to return. Come back and give the folks a thrill every now and again. You know, defend your title. Of course, if you lose, you'll have to drop back down to the Major League. Well, I then I'm rather busy, so as usual, you'll have to excuse me. I need to work out a plan to bring Rockhawk back. That guy really draws crowds. Have a nice day, Gonzalez. So if we use the gold Game Boy here, I believe it make, gives us a match against Rawcork if you want to do that again. Um, and we can use this fancy bed, which heals all of our star power. Other than that, we've pretty much got everything, got everything done. So thank you very much for watching. I've been the Doctor. This has been Paper Mario. We've cleaned up the remaining, pretty much, badges, title, log, star pieces, and done all the remaining post-game content. Except for everything that involves the Pit of 100 Trials, which will be next episode. Don't know when that'll be, it'll be whenever I get around to doing it, so 
Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for the Pit of 100 Trials. Thank you very much, and good day.